Hi, I'm Sean with Alien Gear Holsters. Welcome to our new series, which we're calling CCTV, which stands for Concealed Carry Training Videos. What we're doing is using this as an educational tool for people who are both new and experienced with owning, buying, and operating firearms. We'll be covering how to clear firearm malfunctions, comparing different calibers for concealed carry, how to properly clean a handgun, and many other topics for both new and experienced shooters. Today, we're going into the four rules of gun safety. Rule number one, treat every firearm as if it's loaded. The reason that we do this is so that we learn to maintain a healthy level of respect for the firearm no matter what situation we're in. Imagine you're at a range and somebody hands you a loaded weapon. Imagine the way you're gonna set it down, the way you're gonna hold it, the way you're gonna holster it. That's how we wanna treat these weapons at all times so that we keep ourselves and others safe. Rule number two, never point a firearm at anything you're not willing to destroy. A firearm's meant to destroy not injure, not even warn. You need to know through training and practice that whatever's on the other side of your barrel, you're willing to destroy. If you point your firearm at someone else, not only are they now in danger, but you're also now perceived as a threat. And with a firearm, this quickly escalates the situation. So you need to know through practice and training that if you point your firearm at someone, you're ready to use it. One thing that we do see a lot with beginners is when handling a firearm, they may not be paying as close of attention as they should, and they might accidentally be pointing it at people, whether they're talking with friends or maybe at the range. And this is what we call flagging. So it's something that we really wanna watch out for and really pay close attention to to keep themselves and other people out of danger. Rule number three, Always be sure of your target and what's beyond it. Not only do we want to know what we're shooting at, but we also want to know what we could possibly hit. So if you're engaged with a target inside a building, you need to know what's beyond certain walls. If you're engaged in a concealed carry self-defense situation with the target, you need to know whether or not there's an innocent bystander beyond them. You need to be aware of your entire situation on what you could possibly hit before ever discharging your firearm. This rule implies that you should have regular practice with whatever firearm you're planning on using. Not only do you want to learn the effective range of your weapon, but you also want to know the effective range of yourself. That way you can be sure of your target and your accuracy. Rule number four, keep your finger off the trigger until you're on target and ready to fire. This is a huge safety step towards preventing misfires. And in fact, a large majority of misfires occur because somebody had their finger on the trigger before they were ready to fire. To wrap it all up, respect your firearm and the power that comes with it. Remember that you need to make responsible decisions because when you pull that trigger, there's no going back. Thanks for watching. Go to our website for more concealed carry training tips. And if you like these videos, subscribe to our channel.